asked to deliver the vote of thanks on behalf of participants of the 26th Advanced Diplomatic Course being offered by the prestigious Foreign Service Academy in Islamabad as a privilege and more so as a singular honor speaking as a son of Africa by way of the smallest country in continental Africa known as the smiling coast of the Gambia for the want of its people which I am proud to say is also the case in Pakistan. My dear people, for everything in life, there is a beginning and an end. If this were not so, then life would be monotonous. After all the jarring calves and stormy hills, splendid mountain views and flowing rivers, we have now arrived at what is a final day in Pakistan. My colleagues and I arrived in Pakistan with much trepidation, armed with a combatant defense mode, laced with fear and uncertainty of the unknown. Some international media outlets and detractors of this great nation continue to mount a fierce campaign and seeking to paint the Islamic Republic of Pakistan as an enemy to modern day democracy, a stumbling block to world peace, and an obstacle to progressive civilization. The 22 of us that have been here for the past six weeks utterly reject that notion in all its entirety. I stand here with the firmest of convictions to say that they have failed because we as a group comprising of 20 different nations from all parts of the world came, we saw, and we are convinced beyond a shadow of doubt that indeed the Islamic Republic of Pakistan is one of the greatest nations on earth. The vision of Iqbal, the undiluted dynamism and unparalleled leadership of its founder, Mohammed Jinnah, remains to date one of the greatest advancement agenda of any single nation on earth. We as participants have been honored to explore the heart of the beautiful city of Islamabad and its aromatic and exotic cuisine. The high plains of Lahore in the Punjab region. How can we forget the auspicious hosp hospitality of the Avari Towers of Lahore, the industries of Sialkot, and the radiancy of Karachi, the resor resourcefulness and resolve of its people? But ah, at last, the magnificent mountain tops and outstanding valleys of Kashmir will surely be imbibed in our hearts forever. We have been armed with the requisite attributes to confront diplomatic issues as they come before us. I am sure our lecturers will agree with us that our science is like no other. For when things go wrong, the ramifications can be terrible. Therefore, it is imperative that as we make our exodus from this mecca of diplomatic excellence, we take with us everything that these hardworking men and women have equipped us with to make our world a better place for humanity. And this, as a group, is our pledge. Distinguished guests, as we jet out into the blue skies of Islamabad and route to our various countries, we take with us the warmth and love of a great nation and its people. On behalf of my colleagues, I want to decree our enthusiastic thank yous to the entire staff and management of the Foreign Service Academy. They have been kind and gracious. We too are grateful to them and depart with memories of a lifetime. To my fellow participants, I part with you in peace and love. I take back nothing from this sojourn in Pakistan but the best of our collective audacity to excel in our professional calling. It is therefore fitting that I leave you as a parting gift a burning flame that will forever remain illuminated in your hearts and minds. Ladies and gentlemen, in the words of Iqbal, the greatest philosopher, poet, and leader of all times, I quote, Be aware of your own worth. Use all of your power to achieve it. Create an ocean from a, dew, a dewdrop. Do not beg for light from the moon. Obtain it from the spark within you. Unquote. Honorable Chief Guest of Honor, Director General of the Foreign Service Academy, Director of the Foreign Service Academy, Distinguished Guests, 
ladies and gentlemen, reverting to my opening statement, I have come to that point where I will need to sign off. And I do so with emotions and humility. Therefore, as a diplomat per excellence, it will be remiss of me if I do not at this point say to you all, please accept the assurances of our highest consideration, fraternal esteem, and best wishes. Bohat shukiria. Shukran. Merci beaucoup. Thank you all for your kind attention. Ladies and gentlemen, we now move to the distribution of the certificates. I would now request the Honorable Special Secretary and the Director General to please come on stage to distribute the certificates.